Women have rights too. I don't have a right to tell you that, and somebody said, well, some uh, super religious person who got a bunch of sin in their life said, well, abstinence is the answer. Well, you didn't abstain. And what kills me is people out there protesting already had one. So you had one in your younger years. So today, proudly, we dedicate, uh, we dedicate babies in our church. They're coming at this time uh, because uh, we believe the children are the future. Uh, but we also believe that mothers have the right to elect where it is that they are in the season and the stages of their life. And they should not be criminalized for making decisions that, that will best suit them for where it is that they are. However, it does matter to me because I did have an abortion in America, funny enough. And... Yeah, I'm only sharing this because it was such a time of awakening for my inner witch because I was so conflicted by spiritual goodness and the right thing to do and my deeper body telling me, no, I'm not ready. My body's not ready. I still need time to heal. I still need time to connect to my womb. I was so disconnected. I had so much pain from the trauma I'd experienced that to have a baby would not feel good in my body. And whilst everyone around me were excited and wanted this to happen, and even my spiritual circles were like, this is a gift, this is a miracle, go with it. Deep, deep inside of my own truth, I knew that I couldn't do it. And I had to break a cycle even in my family line of women going with what is expected of them instead of really being able to say like, actually, I choose myself. I choose myself. My choice! My choice! My choice! My choice! My choice! So please understand what you're seeing now with uh, um, all of these abortion activists, um, the witches, the warlock, and the um, apostate preachers that are all on the side of abortion. Uh, this has nothing to do with abortion and women's rights. This has everything to do with changing what God created, changing the order of God, making, you know, um, uh, God said that children are a heritage unto the Lord um, and the devil wants to destroy children. Uh, the Bible says that male and female created he them and blessed them. God, and the devil wants to destroy the image of male and female. That's all this is. This is the devil trying to reverse what God did, um, just like he did in Genesis 6, which caused the flood. Uh, the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, it's going to be the same as it is in these days or the days of the coming of the Son of Man. So Jesus is coming soon. And what these people are doing and saying is showing you and proving it to you that the time is drawing nigh. Uh, they try to make it like, you know, they're fighting for women's rights here. But as you see in this line of questioning, this has little to do with women's rights and it has everything to do with LGBTQPIS-10, whatever it is, <laughs> has everything to do with their rights. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. Would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? 
So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important Because of my line of questioning? So we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist I'm is denying that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think <laughs> so. You are denying that trans people exist, Thank and that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, 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 they're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet you might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot I just know. in this exchange. Absolutely extraordinary. Yep. Um, Ms. Matsky, let me ask you. Something. So what you're seeing now is um, the breakdown of our, of course, education. Um, when you release your children to these educators, they're going to program them, uh, they're going to indoctrinate them, and that's why I've been an advocate for homeschooling um, for the last few years, just really preaching, preaching it and warning believers that their children are being indoctrinated with the New World Order to change the truth of God into a lie. Romans 1 and 25 says, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their era, which was meat. So the Bible has already told us what was going to happen in this time and how they were going to turn the change the truth of God into a lie. What is the truth of God? Male and female is the truth of God. What he created, what he blessed. And this is what they're trying to change. And if you go against it, as you see, this lady was just highly upset with the fact that she was even questioned about it and so you can only imagine what she's teaching in her classroom and the bible says this romans 1 and 28 and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient the key to this is they did not like to retain god in their knowledge what is this what God created, what God made, what God blessed, the way we should act, the way we should be governed, God's morality, God's judgment laws, all of that. They're throwing it all out and everything is acceptable. If you want to be a donkey, you can be a donkey. If you want to uh, be a man and have, you know, and breastfeed, you can breastfeed. I mean, they're using technology. They're using biology to go against the true and the living God. And now they're injecting people. They're giving us all, you know, giving people who knows what so that they could change the truth of God, change the image of man. Make man robotic, make man transhuman so that they can change what God made and blessed um, and the devil can fly in the face of the Lord and show these are mine and not yours. But I've been born again. I've been washed by the blood of the lamb. My body is clean and I'm full bred human and I serve the true and the living God and I will stand for him until he comes for me.